Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for today's webinar of how to purchase a Mandura domain name. This is very important uh, for those of you who have purchased the uh, replicated website. Uh, it makes it easier to advertise and it, it just it's easier to remember uh, and also it's uh, noticed better by the uh, search engines too. So with that being said we're going to start this process by launching our internet browser window here and we're going to type in the address bar the company that we selected to purchase from which in this case is godaddy.com and that's g-o-d-a-d-d-y.com and the website should load and at the top middle you have an option here to click create an account now if you already have an account you can skip this process but we're going to go ahead and click on it and it'll load a uh, form here where you will fill out all your contact information password, password hint and all of that and you can go down here once you've completed that you can click on create a new account now once you've done all this you have your account set up you can go right back to the home page and start to search for possible domain names for your replicated website uh, we're going to click in the uh, text box here and we're going to try, um, well, we'll do uh, try Mandura. And since .com is already over here on the right scroll bar, we don't need to type in .com. So we're going to do try Mandura and then click go. Now, if it's not available, it'll come up in red. And if it is available, it should come up in black. Uh, now, since it's in red here, uh, it's already been taken. So we're going to be a little more original uh, with the domain name. So let's try, um, there you go, ManduraIsAwesome.com. And it should search through their uh, system here. And it's telling me that ManduraIsAwesome.com is available. Um, now, as you notice here, uh, it gives you various options of extensions for your domain. Uh, I would really suggest we'll keep it simple with the .com today and we'll scroll all the way down and proceed to checkout. Now it's going to stop you and say that you found a great domain name. That's going to happen every time you find a domain that's available. So we're also going to skip over this uh, option as well and click on no thanks, continue to checkout. Now here, since I'm not officially logged in, I will have to do so. And once you've typed in your ID and password, it'll take you to the next menu, which will ask you how long you want to keep your domain name. Now I believe five years is the default, so you probably want to go with maybe one or two. For today, we'll, we'll select one year. Um, you can uh, scroll all the way down here, past all these other additional options, and just select um, underneath number four you select the radio button to the left of no thanks I'm ready to check out so we're going to click that option and we're going to click continue now here we go we have a total of ten dollars and nineteen cents uh, you just select your method of payment and you can um, you can move on to the next video which is basically we're going to show you how to log back into GoDaddy and forward your domain to your replicated website link. So if you want to complete this process, we will see you in the next video. Thank you.